Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and I've been a doll maker since 2003. Recently I made this tiny little baby doll and I thought to myself why not make another one? So if you'd like to join me in the studio today, let's get started. Now this will be a little different from my baby clown project. Because we want the limbs to be poseable, we will sculpt the baby in pieces. I like to start with the head as measuring the limbs is easier when the head is already done. I start by applying some polymer clay to the head armature. The armature is made from aluminium wire with a ball of aluminium foil. Today I'll use Super Sculpey's Living Doll Polymer Clay in Colour Baby. I keep building up the clay until I have a smooth round ball. Once I have the head shape smooth and ready to work on, I press in the sleeping eyes. Sleepy eyes are much more straightforward than open eyes so I'm showing it this way today. Once the eyelids are pressed into the clay, I build up the brow. I smooth the brow with my fingers and a sculpting tool. Once both sides are done, I add a tiny ball of polymer clay to form the nose. I blend this in with a sculpting tool. Using a pointed tool, I poke in the nostrils and then define the creases around the nose. Next, I add a small piece of clay under the nose to form the top lip. I use my tool to define the shape of the top lip. Then I do the same for the bottom lip. Once the features of the face are in place, I add the cheeks being careful not to distort the features. Then I add some polymer clay to the chin and blend in the seam lines. Now that the face is done, I can work on the ears. I add two small pieces of polymer clay to the sides of the head and sculpt in the ears. Once the sculpture has been baked in the oven and is completely cool, you can paint the sculpture. Today I'll be using Genesis heat set paints. These paints have been discontinued, so if you want to know how to paint with acrylic paints, check out my baby clown tutorial. I'll leave a link above. Genesis paints can be tricky to get started. The paint comes as a stiff paste that you must knead with a palette knife and mix with thinners before use. However, the great thing about Genesis paints is they never truly dry without being heated, so you can leave the mixtures on your palette for future projects. When you're ready to set the paint, heat it to 130 degrees Celsius or 265 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven or with a heat gun. I lightly paint around the face with red paint to blush the baby doll. I then paint the eyelashes, eyebrows and the hair on the head with brown paint. I paint the hair in a natural pattern that the hair would typically grow in.
To make the arms, I roll out a clay snake and create a paddle shape at the end to place the hand. I measure it against the baby's head. Baby's arms are so short that they can't touch their hands together above their heads, so I measure the arm accordingly. I position the arm and flatten the end of the paddle shape to form the area for the fingers. I create the creases around the arm with a needle tool. Using my palette knife, I cut in four fingers. I use my needle tool to dull the cut line so the fingers don't snap off at that point. I gently stretch the fingers until they are rounded and thin. I trim the fingers to size. Using my fingers, I carefully round each fingertip and curl the fingers into position. Then I use a sculpting tool to refine the shape of the polymer clay. I carefully shape the clay to emulate knuckles. I form a slight teardrop shape with a piece of polymer clay and attach it to the thumb area. I press in the creases around the palm. Measure it again against the head and if all is well, repeat the process for the other arm. When both arms are done, you need to insert some wire. This wire will create a loop that we will use to sew the arm onto the fabric body. Creating the legs is much the same process as creating the arms, except instead of creating hands, we create feet. Roll a clay snake and position the leg. I use my fingers to press in a little foot shape. I create creases around the leg with my sculpting tool. Let's just take a moment to appreciate my fantastic camera skills. Use a palette knife to cut in five toes and define the shape with a sculpting tool. Develop the creases on the bottom of the foot. We're in focus enough to see me create the toenails. Well done, Amanda. Insert a wire loop into the leg so we can sew it to a fabric body. Secure it with a small piece of polymer clay as we did with the arms. Then repeat the process for the other leg. While the limbs are baking in the oven, we can sew the fabric body. I have cut out two oval shapes from some thin white linen fabric to create the body. I sew the sides of the oval together, leaving a hole at the top to insert the head and a hole at the bottom to stuff the baby doll with filling. I turn the body right side out and glue in the head into the top hole. I use clear and tacky fabric glue to glue the head in place. I like this glue because it dries fast and it holds very strong. 
I tear up some small pieces of 100% cotton batting and stuff the fabric body of the baby doll. I use tweezers to pack it in nice and tight. Once the doll is stuffed, I sew the hole shut with a ladder stitch. When the limbs are baked and fully cooled, you can paint them in the same way you did the head. Except I don't want to see you painting eyelashes and hair on these. I even paint the fingernails with little white tips on them. Once the paint on the limbs has been set with the heat gun, or the oven if you prefer, it's time to sew them onto the body. I don't really have a specific method for doing this. I keep passing the thread through the metal loop until the limb is sewn on securely. You want it to be strong enough to handle repeated posing. Once the limbs are all secured, you can create an outfit for your doll. Now, because the clothes are so complex to make, I won't cover it in this video today. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to show you how I make the baby doll bloomers and dress. And now for the result. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for all your comments. I love reading all of your comments. Until next time. Bye.